I think that concludes our investigation of the projection box. In order that the machine might see more frames and his pet mania bird, nothing seemed to stand out as being unusual. Hmm, yes. Gosh, you certainly seem to be in deep thought, miss. Are you figuring out all, all of those little gray cells of yours, as Inspector Hastings called them? I've got it! I know exactly where I need to head to next. Let me guess, a kiosk for popcorn? Without a shadow of a doubt, the snack kiosk! Okay, to be fair, I kind of understand why she's going there and no it's not because of food. Because uh, apparently the money bird major loves popcorn, so you could probably use that to bribe him to give you this information. But again, he's supposedly a very smart bird. Seriously? I refuse to leave without my free popcorn. I can practically see the little kernels of corn popping around inside your head at the moment. Miss, we have to focus on the case, the head of the great delay to attack the agency, with all its proud history and tradition, can be distracted by such things. Okay. I get the proud history could probably be from her father, Professor Layton, but the tradition part? Yeah, I don't think that that is going on. Oh, and speaking of Professor Layton, I finally did check out and... Yeah, Catriel isn't like his biological daughter, apparently she's an adopted daughter from one of the bad guys from the, one of the old games, I wanna say. But yeah, it's like kind of neat. What well, Eastern tradition? Cat only just set the place up. Well, alright, but we'll have a proud Eastern tradition in the future if we can just get our, our heads off popcorn. A long way in the future. As it stands, we have no leads at all. I think we should investigate another part of the theater. The pup's got a point. Stupid before his next. Come on. Well, the two of you don't want to come with me, I'll go on my own. Eh, like a dog with a bone as usual. Let's turn attention back to the case. Presumably there's an editor here as well, wouldn't you think? Would you see if you can interview him? Or her? Quick thinking, go faster, pinstripes. Ahem. <clears throat> So, how do we go about finding the editor? Well, I suppose we could ask Mr. Frames. Pardon me, Mr. Frames, would you like to talk to whoever is in charge of editing the premiere? You mean editori? <sighs> really? Editori? As an editor? Is he adding the technician? Rector famous editing assistant? Yeah, he's one of the most senior members of the Rector's crew. He was here for a screen today. Well, given that it's the editor's job to cut the spice of film, I think we should speak with him. Okay, I can... I can... This is... I can... This does... Again, I said I can way too many times. But it does bring a good question. Because nowadays, all of editing, or pretty much all of it is done on the PC, on the computer. In Brogue, like, Premiere, DaVinci Resolve, and so on and so forth. So... What the heck? Hmm. Again, I'm lost. I don't understand cinema. He may well know something about Missing Kissing. Where can you find him? Good question. I don't know where he disappeared to after the screen. Perhaps it's in the theater. Let's go and ask around if anyone sees anyone seen him, miss. Alright, as soon as we got my popcorn, we'll go to hunt for Mr. Tori. Let it go, cat! Uh, maybe a little quicker for the long run if you just go to a snack kiosk now and get it out of the way. I mean, he's not wrong. Very well, miss, you win. Let's head, let's head for the kiosk. Yay! What the? Fashion farting, I keep forgetting this thing. Okay. There are still one or two people about, even though most people have left now. Never mind that, it's popcorn time. Now I need to get the pop, the coupon Ernest will ask the member of the staff at the kiosk and the during the light will be mine. Obsessed, you're obsessed. Oh yeah, here's a uh, Loanida Miss. I kind of forgot her name already. 
Oh. What is wait, spoke only one time, that's yeah. Oh, they're repeating this, the talk from... What was the name? When... Those two and Perfetti were here. Yeah, I can't for the life of me remember her first name. I just remember Perfetti for some reason. Not sure why. Oh, a puzzle. Ah, yes. What can I do for you? Oh, aren't you the chap who showed us into the theater before? Ah, yes. All other staff members were individually assigned to take care of... Our VIP guests. So yes, we are a little short of hands for the usual theater. Haha, <laughs> yes. I'm having to do everything myself. Queering the theater goers, showing them to their seats, many of the snack kiosks, cleaning. Ah yes, I can't get enough places at once. I can't be enough places at once. Gosh, you sound awfully overworked. Like someone else I could mention. Answering the phone, making tea, cleaning the office, helping with investigations. Sounds familiar, pinstripe. It does all of that, Jesus. No, I don't mind. I'm very proud to be able to help such an esteemed detective as Miss Lady. You are? Honestly, I think that's more his crush than anything. Well, I'm sorry to trouble you when you're obviously so busy, but like some dirty popcorn, please. Here's my coupon. Ah, yes, of course. I'd be glad to serve you, except that I'm terribly sorry, but I can't. You see, hi, yes. I'm afraid our daily special popcorn's all sold out, yes. I knew I should have come earlier. It's always going to go quickly, such a con knockout flavor. Oh yeah, anyone could have predicted that. However, yes, I do have something else I could offer you, sir. A puzzle. What's the correlation? Six of one. The three panels are presenting the number six. Change the order and the irritation of the panels to make 6 in another way, not 1 plus 5 or 5 plus 1. Press A over a panel selected and hold the button down to drag the panel around. Place one panel on top of the another to swap them over and rotate panels with R and R. Ok, I know this is multiplier. Okay, so it goes like this. Oh, interesting. I could do like this. And what about you? Hmm. Yeah, it isn't the same thing. Yeah, it is the same thing. Okay, okay. Much, much, much later. Wait. Oh, interesting. What if I did it like this? Yeah, because it's written six. A good puzzle is something you have to chew over. They do call me Sherlock. She comes for nothing. I mean, can't give it the names so. though. That makes sense, I suppose. Ah, I do hope that satisfied your appetite for something unusual, yes? Oh, I also suppose you'll have to give up on the popcorn now and get to solving the case. Finally, we can put all that popcorn nonsense behind us. Isn't it funny that the major, you know, the money bird knew the word popcorn? And we're back. Ah, oh, yes, actually, I wasn't who taught him to say that, yes. Oh, really? Ha, yes. Sometimes I take a snack of popcorn to the projection box. You know, I've even seen the Major out of his cage before. You mean Mr. Frames had a bird fly free? Ah yes, I believe so. I mean, only sometimes of course. Although I yes, he could get into a rather, rather lot of trouble. And quite often the Major eats all the popcorn before Seymour gets a look at it. Haha, <laughs> yes, it's true. That's how the, bar, the bird picked out the word popcorn in the first place. Well, place, yes. I even took a tub of durian popcorn there earlier today. And the major had it all again. Ha, ah, yes. I just took my off him for a moment and he gobbled every last piece. An entire tub? By love, by Jove, that's a bird with an appetite, alright. Ah, yes, I was just, just as surprised as you are. 
Ah, but I think even the Major might have overdone at that time. Yeah, I seem to give him a tummy ache. Ah, oh, the lucky thing. I wish I could eat so much green popcorn on my tummy ache. But I must stop pining for something I can't have. Yes, yeah, it's time to spoke with Mr. Tori, the editor. What? I was still I was still on popcorn. I feel her pain, Cheryl, but we must find Mr. Tori now. Do you know where he is? Yes, I saw him just a few moments ago, actually. Ah, yes. He's on his way out of the door. Oh, quickly then, let everyone... Quickly then, everyone. We have to catch him before he goes home. Allow to fly free. Mix. Why, baby? No, don't. Why, baby? Every single time. Let's see what you two have to say. Ah, you're still here, are you? Oh, Madame Double. Mix! Me ask what you're still doing here, Madame? Aren't you going home now that the screening has been cancelled? Haha, <laughs> goodness me, no. Not before I fit my popcorn, at least. The rich, buttery woman, the deep in invasive scent of durian that wipes out from deep inside the top. I assembled dishes all over the world, but even I find myself taken aback by this culinary masterstroke. A deep invasive scent, really? Oh, I knew it would be amazing. I have to try it. Yeah, except you can't. Oh, hello, Katria. What a terrible thing to have happened. I can't believe someone would steal the end of the film. I'm afraid I do have to ask, Piper. This is another one of your ruses, is it? No. Then why are you still here in the theater? The culprit often returns to the scene of the crime, you know. No, no, I felt it my duty as mayor to see if there was anything I could do to help some smooth things over all the hullabaloo before. Ah, but you already know that you enjoy a good hullabaloo, don't we? Like the- Ah! 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 Nix, why? We were ready to trim your claws, Nix, why? Like the- Oh my god. Like the hullabaloo of a festival, for example. No, 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 no. I can't, I get it. That's like, okay, I don't mind that one because that's kind of good nature really at this at that point. All the guests have gone home now. It's deserted in the lobby and, and outside. How about the man standing by the entrance? Do you think he could be the, uh, the editor? You will know unless you ask him. I mean, sure, it sure as heck looks unique, I'll give you that much. Sorry, I like checking. Oh yeah, boy, why do I keep doing this to myself? Excuse me, are you Mr. Tore, the editor? I am, and you are? I'm Catriel Layton from the Layton Detective Agency. You've probably heard of me. Nope. Oh well, that's a shame. Still, you know, you know, you know me now, don't you? Mr. Bar Barnon had, has asked me and my colleagues to investigate the case of stolen kissing. Yes, please. Baby, don't. Okay, you can lie down there. No problem. We'd very much like you to take a state. Statement, thank you, Mr. Tori. After all, you've worked with Mr. Maverick directly for many years, haven't you? I'm surprised a kid of your age has ever even heard of me. Alright, let's see what else you know. I bet you haven't heard of this tractor film, have you? Oh boy. <laughs> Tales of the Unexpected. There has been an incident at a farm where all the cows have disappeared. According to a witness, a UFO sucked them all up and some aliens came out. Now, for some reason, that will remain classified. You need to place an alien in each of the spaces where there is currently a cow. Select a cow to suck it up into the UFO and swap it with an alien, and vice versa. The creature coming down from the UFO will take the other empty space. What?
Am I missing something? Oh, okay, 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 okay. I, I understand. I understand now. Oh. Goes all the way up there. Okay, this is gonna take a while. Two hours later. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I, I, I think I figured it out, I think I figured it out. I think I was doing it right. Because, again, there's not supposed to be a name in here because of what is this, because it used to be a place where a cow is. And there are cows on the grass patterns. Okay, so yeah, I think we need to do like this. Do this in order. Get you. And get you, which will then put the cow there. Right? And get you would. Yes! Now just do this. And this. And done. I have a feeling that perhaps. That's a relief. I wasn't entirely sure. I kind of agree. Apparently, I was doing it halfway right. Good to know. You did it! Looks like the Inus just came to have some fun with a night drawing up close. You had them goodbye and set them off for home. Okay. Friendly aliens. Oh, did you find it? Not a bad action thriller, eh? Alright, it was supposed to be a movie. Nick's guilt! Oh, I'll say UFOs and aliens always make a for Joy the Tale. I know what film it is. It's a rarely seen science. Close equations of the third kind. Again, I want to say that's a reference to some kind of movie, and it sounds familiar to me, but it's just not clicking in my head. Alright, now I'm impressed. Rector was still a newcomer, so the film had a cast of total unknowns, and he quickly disappeared from the big screen. The production company went bankrupt as well, so it's never been reshown. It's one of the most talked about films among Rector fans. Spot on! You really know your stuff, kid. Okay, Furry, what do you want to ask me? Thank you, Mr. Tori. So first of all, can you confirm that you were at the screening earlier? Yeah, I was there. I wanted to see everyone's reaction to our latest film, to be honest. But then that happened. It's unbelievable. You know, I've worked closely with Maverick for a very long time now. And I've never, NEVER experienced something like this before. It's my job to cut Maverick film, and my job alone. Can I ask, where, you, uh, where were you immediately before the screen today, Mr. Toy? I was with Maverick, you were checking over the film together. Needless to say, there was nothing wrong then, or than us arguing again. Arguing? What about? Well, you probably don't know, but Maverick's film used to be a lot more fringe, a lot more edgy. Is that kind of work that attracted me to the Maverick's direction in the first place, and I've stu and I've stuck with him ever since. But in recent years, he's gone for the popper vote. He's been shooting the kind of over sentimental draws that the public seems to lap, lap up, lap up. Okay, I get it. He's trying to be successful. Successful. He had to pander for what people want. Okay, it's still a business, even if it's a passion project. It's still a business. It needs no. But there's still gonna be a lot of people. Edgy movies make millions every year when they are done right, so does romance and those who talk about emotions and all that. It's really just about knowing your audience. And the final key scene is the latest film is, well, never set right with me from the start. But Maverick wouldn't listen to me, would he? Not when he was not when we were shooting or when we were editing. So when we were checking over the film earlier today, I finally said it. I told him that the scene wasn't true to his style, that he'd sold out. So the two of you, of you quarreled? Yeah, but that's just part of the, for the course. Director and editors always argue. Always have, always will. Okay, yeah, that's true. As well as directors argument 
with their actors, with the staff. The director's actually angry with a lot of people when they feel like they're probably... Making films sounds like a tricky business. But let me make one thing clear. Just because we argue, it doesn't mean I do something like that and disappoint all those poor people. I see. Well, thank you, Mr. Tony. No problem. You can you you can't Trevor do this, all right? I want to know who was responsible. Well, I think we've spoken to everyone now. Unsurprisingly, no one sent out as being the guilty party at the stage. Maybe it wasn't an inside job. Perhaps you start thinking along different lines. No, I don't think so. I'm still not sure exactly when the scene was cut from the film, but one thing seems fairly certain. It wouldn't have been easy for an outsider to get access to the film rules in the time window we are looking at. Not to mention the fact that only randomly selected guests and VIPs were allowed to enter uh, to the theatre at all today. Hmm. Yes, everyone was carefully checked at the door, weren't they? It certainly wouldn't have been easy for anyone to sleep, to sleep in. And both Rector and Tori said there was nothing wrong with the film they checked just before the screening. So even if someone had managed to slip into the theater and notice, they wouldn't have been able to get to the film rules between them and starting the screening. My thoughts exactly on this. It was a bird, wasn't it? If, this, if the kiss scene was indeed stolen, it, was, it has to have been by a member of the theater staff or the production team. Hmm. I think you're right. Oh, let's not forget that there's someone who haven't managed to speak to properly yet. That's true! Let's find Mr. Rector and see if he can answer some questions this time. I just hope it's calmed down a little now. Yeah, so do I. I want to sit in the lobby. 